When we give voice to something through dance or through music, through painting, through any of the art forms, they transcend ideas and we're allowed to see the human condition. My concept of medicine wheel, which is now known as spoke, was that every spoke of the wheel is significant. And if one spoke is broken, the wheel is incomplete. The work that I have that is now currently hanging in the Spoke Gallery is an example of the opportunity that Spoke gives artists to talk with the public and to talk with the community. When I think about Spoke, I think about it as a tool for truth and reconciliation and bringing people together in a way that we're listening to voices in a very constructive and, dare I say, with an advocate lens. Uh, it's, it's really been marvelous to work closely with Michael. He is a genius, artistically, spiritually. My first engagement with the organization was the hand-in-hand -hand artistic opportunity between community youth and police officers. When you provide opportunities for the youth in the community, then you are setting them on the path for success. I just came here at 8.30 in the morning and looked up. It was already time for me to leave. So we see this as a real opportunity to grow a project that we started several years ago called Hand in Hand, where we're pairing officer with young person, uh, sort of on a one-to-one -to -one basis, creating together. When you talk one-on-one, -on -one, you realize that not all cops are bad. Not all kids are bad. You have more in common than you ever thought you would. Then we learn that we are all human. Bill McGonagall was the head of Boston Public Housing. He had watched us work for many years and his testimony to us was always how impressed he was that we worked with some of the most volatile young people in the community. And sort of one of his last acts was to sort of say, okay, there's a purpose for that uh, that building, and let's see if Medicine Wheel would like to take it over. We really think uh, of this as a very, very exciting opportunity for us. It's also for me some legacy work on how to use art to create space where people can gather, reflect, remember, heal, celebrate, uh, where they can tell their stories, and where their stories can be listened to. I love the concept of cultural action. And it allows us, I think, to see and locate ourselves in our own lives and in the lives of others. You know, we're just launching a new project that spoke, a thread runs through it, right? Which is a collection, we hope, of about 100,000 stories written on little pieces of fabric, eight inches by eight inches of a story of belonging. When was a moment where you felt you belonged in your life? And we're sewing those together into these long strands and then we're braiding those strands together, you know, creating a rope of connection, the beauty of the thread that runs through the connection uh, of each of us. Something that has really stuck with me and I see manifest throughout my day is this Swahili proverb of Ubuntu, which is, I am because you are. It's that advice that everything that I'm doing, my process, my journey is connected to everyone I have the opportunity to interact with. We see each and every individual as a leader. And we believe that leadership lives in all of us. And I'm proud of the work that we've been able to do uh, and spoke, because that's one of our core competencies. I see myself on one of those spokes as a contributor to it as a driving force to consider our creative force as the one of the most important forces we have. Spoke really binds people. We are connected to each other. And I think uh, Michael does a wonderful job and the organization does a wonderful job in truly connecting people of different backgrounds to each other uh, through art. It's about creating intersectional relationships and building community amongst people and allowing folks to have a voice in a way that their experiences are shared so that we can learn and grow together. I always said, if each one of us held the hand of the person next to you, and everybody did that, the whole world would be joined. So I really wanted to thank uh, all those who have supported Spoke this year and in the past, and would encourage those of you who are here and who are listening to continue to, or to, if it's your first time. This work is not done alone. Really, we depend on you. I also love Spoke um, as a noun, right? That we each spoke, but, but as a verb, it's maybe even more interesting to me in the sense that I spoke, you spoke, 
he, she, they spoke, we spoke, you spoke, they spoke, that across all pronouns, it's the same word, right? And, you know, so spoken word, right, is like so beautiful. The man that I've called to be the organization that I've helped create, uh, you know, these are the benefits. This is the good part.